Um, so uh, today I will uh, start by uh, by recalling the um, the, the spectrum uh, P second, which is the second model for the DRAM uh, spectrum, and uh, I, I want to somehow go with some details uh, through the this Hodge theoretic argument. Uh, and explain somehow the, the limitation of this argument in, uh, in the setting of the second um, spectrum. So, um, yeah, let's recall that uh, I've, uh, so in the last lecture I've uh, introduced uh, a T spectrum, so you know, by P2, uh, which was defined as some uh, homotopy polymit. Uh, over some comp some diagram uh, where the object are somehow pairs r n r is uh, r and the line is it is an n tuple of integers uh, of some uh, t spectral like this so this is a, a model of omega so in so uh, I did it maybe say it uh, clearly last time but so one has uh, really uh, a map between omega and, and p2, which is, uh, in fact, even so, it's a, a level-wise uh, quasi-isomorphism. If things are done correctly, um, so th uh, this p2 um, p2 r n. So, uh, so it's it's a it's a T spectrum which is obtained by obtained by push forward um, so from a T spectrum uh, on a regular or smooth schemes endowed with a map uh, to uh, to e bar r plus n. So um, in fact, uh, stratified regular schemes. Um, let me maybe remind you that maybe that, that this e bar, this is uh, e bar one. This is just p one. So this is just a product of p ones. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a T spectrum like this, and it has the following shape. So, which is which is as follow. So this this T spectrum that we we push forward is given. Uh, so can you recall back? I will get lost. So what is yes. this? You define a T spectrum in the first in your general setup of some. Uh, so it's a T spectrum on this. It means that I, I have a, so I, I have a collection of complexes of pre sheaf on this category. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So the same, and then the T is the same. T is the same. T is just uh, essentially uh, GM or any yeah. So T would be just uh, the, the the free the free pre sheaf on GM. Of, uh, of groups on GM as, as, as a pointed set. Yeah. Okay, so, so and this, this uh, T spectrum is given like this, so it's, uh, it's obtained by applying the, the Godma uh, construction on, uh, on a, a fluggy pre sheaf, so something which depends on, on, uh, on the data of a, of a flag. Uh, so, uh, um, so it's more precisely like this. Um, okay, so this is the formula for. So for the T spectrum, so it's uh, so one has to take an H fibrant replacement before pushing forward. Uh, to, to get the spectrum on smooth varieties, uh, this is uh, some kind of a of an infinite suspension operation, which op which happens on, uh, on the level of a fluggy pre sheaf So on 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 flag. So uh, and then this is uh, uh, this is some uh, simple uh, uh, 
uh, module with integrable connection, uh, or more precisely, a pre-sheaf of such things. Okay, so uh, this, is, this is a formula. So maybe let me say again. So this N R M is uh, is a uh, again flaggy uh, pre-sheaf with values. In model with integrable connection, so this is some 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 two functor. Okay, uh, and in fact, this is uh, uh, more precisely. It's it's obtained by pulling back something uh, which already lives uh, on on, uh, on on this uh, scheme. So, uh, in fact. is uh, obtained by pullback from so a small uh, receives uh, really on uh, on e bar R plus n. So in fact, so uh, it's it's just a, uh, it's appreciated really on on the flags on on this very simple uh, stratified scheme. Okay, so it's uh, yeah. Um, all right. So and, and because so so maybe let's, let me be a bit more precise here. So uh, so in fact, if you want to evaluate uh, this guy on x and d, so x is a uh, is an object in this uh, reg regular certified over E R plus M. D is a flag in X. So th the way you, you you do this is is by taking um, uh, a pullback along this uh, this map here. So maybe circ. Okay, so where where D is maps to C, C is a flag in this uh, product of P ones, and then you you pull back uh, uh, N. So right, so first one, one has, so the first one defines this, and then this is obtained just by pulling back that. Thing. So, and, and and these are very simple things. So these are logarithmic, so sheaf of of log type. Just uh, some uh, up to up to some constant. It's just uh, log uh, algebra on the on on on, on logarithm of, a, of something invertible. All right. So this is uh, more or less uh, the thing that I constructed yes uh, last time. Sorry. Um, all right. So. Uh, and then I, I I went so I, I did this so uh, because of this uh, of this fact that that this guy is coming from something below, uh, one can use uh, the projection formula. So uh, using the projection formula for computing uh, r gamma. Delta of of these guys, uh, we can rewrite uh, so we can we can rewrite this as follow. So this guy, this is R gamma, is in fact also uh, R gamma. So it's the same notation, but now this is really that one, um, and then I tensor with R p lower star of one. Uh, right. So so this is so this is uh, computed over m uh, m circ x d. This is computed over m circ e uh, e bar r plus m. 
Okay, so it's, it's, it's same notation, but but so here it's a global section over this scheme. This is over that scheme, and and p is just this uh, projection here. Okay, I, I hope this is clear. Okay, so instead of 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 taking uh, this n here, pulling back, and then computing cohomology, I, what I do, I I uh, I compute the cohomology of the unit. Uh, I compute the direct image of the unit, and then tensor with n, and then compute cohomology again. This is a projection formula. Okay, so when I do this, uh, somehow we we, we can yeah. Uh, so we, then then I, I can replace uh, in this formula. I can replace uh, this part by by this part. So it's projection formula for a map of uh, toposes or a map of. It's a morphism of schemes here. A morphism of schemes. Yeah. But it's a, it's a diagram of scheme, but but I mean I can I I, I do the projection formula at each uh, part of the diagram. Yeah, and the projection formula is valid without uh, the strict bounded. Okay, here it's everything. It's uh, it shifts for. Uh, so these are mo modules, integrable connections. Ah, okay. This is R gamma. Is, this is like you, this is the derived functor of of the constant. So you, you have a module. You take the constant of. And this is the derived functor of this of this operation. And so, because n is really just an extension of of of, uh, of the trivial yeah. make, uh, you have such a formula. Uh, you can do, you, I mean you can prove it by induction if you want. You can. I mean, if this is one, this is for this formula is clear. This is just the composition of two functors. Uh, so what do you you wrote r gamma del. So I, yes, yeah, so this is r gamma, but. Computed over this scheme. Yeah. This is R gamma computed over that that one. So to compute the R gamma over that one, you can first uh, you can apply direct image and then compute R gamma here. This is the same as computing R gamma here. Uh, so maybe I I, I mean. How big well star of one is where? Where does it live in? Uh, this is here also. This is my P. Yeah, it's a complex of modules with integrable connection. So you take as the derived right factor only for modules with integrable connection in your category. Because yes. This is enough to get the right yes. answer for exactly. Uh, locally, it's an, it, it gives you the, the right answer because of Bailinson theorem. Uh, you're using Bailinson. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. I mean, it's uh, yeah. Bailinson theorem is somehow used uh, behind us. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, so le le let me uh, now make the following observation. I think it's maybe better to because I, I think I, I need some space for this observation. So let, let me erase one of the big blackboards. Right, so I told you that that omega is um, uh, is given by by this spectrum that I have erased. But uh, and from this we can uh, construct so so from from this uh, equivalence we can construct a morphism of uh, Co-simplicial spectra. spectra. Uh, so this is really uh, up to uh, stable. The, the morphism is not maybe is not really uh, defined, but only up to stable a one et al. equivalence. Okay, so but in the derived category, I can. I can write it like this. So this is 
the this is the cosimplicial object on the Durham complex that I'm interested in. Maybe I put cough here too. And so th then this will go uh, to the following object. So essentially, uh, what I wrote before, but with a small change. So okay, so I, I write it again. I write it because so it's a Hoko limit over these indices. I remember that then I have a uh, push forward of uh, this T spectrum, which is obtained by taking the Godman complex over some flaggy object. Okay, so if I if I do this, I, this is just the, the spectrum I I, d I, I just uh, was dis discussing about. But so here, the new thing is that I, I put a Chech resolution, but but only on on this part of the diagram. Yes, so so yeah. Okay, so this is a cosimplicial object, and I'm saying that this the one that I'm interested in somehow maps uh, to that to that thing. So this is really not much, not not so. So the thing that without the C that you you have this map. So without the Chech, you have a map, and then you have to show that the Chech, if you put if you put it here somehow, can be moved up to here. And this is possible because somehow all the functors are kind of mon um, um, uh, they, they they have uh, the pseudo monoidal. So there is uh, there is uh, the monoidal in the right sense and and somehow this is what is what's happening here okay so this is the, the observation and so the, the um, and moreover so let me say it here so moreover one can show that that the right hand side is degree wise uh, uh, stably a one eta finite. Okay, so, so degree wise, so th th this object is uh, good enough for computing um, uh, the homotopy limit. So, if I'm, I'm if I want to compute the homotopy limit of this guy, uh, I, I know that that it, it will go to the homotopy limit of this thing, uh, and this can be computed using just the Total totalization uh, operation on complexes because of this property. Okay, so so remember the, the so I had this weak uh, version of the main conjecture, which was about constructing a map from the homotopy limit of this object to something uh, rather simple. And so the idea is that uh, if I can do this here, uh, I, I will I will get the map I want if if I can com compute this uh, this part of the. Okay, I hope I hope this is clear. And so the strategy is to let me see here. So, the, the, so the strategy for computing um, the right hand side or the homotopy limit of the right hand side. Is uh, to use Hodge theory uh, to get rid of this uh, R p lower star of one. So, and by get rid, I mean by e, I, I e two to replace it by maybe rather if you put H. To replace it by just one. Okay, so I, I, I want to. Yeah. So the the, the, the idea is that uh, if you if you pass to the homotopy limit and assuming, the, so uh, so of course if if you could commute homotopy limit with all this operation, and then uh, show that the homotopy limit of this gadget is just one, uh, this is what this is what I want somehow to do in some sense. 
um, then you would be replacing this guy by one. And um, indeed, if you can do this, then you can prove the, the, the weak form of the, of the conjecture. Okay. So, so this is somehow the, the main objective is somehow to, to get rid of this part of, of this diagram. OK, so le let me explain to you what I mean by, uh, by using Hodge theory. So uh, there, is, uh, there is a statement which, which somehow I, I would like to use to do this. So I, I maybe now uh, state this as, as a theorem. OK, so more precisely, we would like to use the following theorem. More precisely, we would like to use the statement here is, is maybe it's a bit long but I start here so here's the theorem so I, I, I said it in, in an abstract situation because it's simpler to do this uh, so I, I fix C a small category I give myself um, a functor M from C to uh, smooth varieties with uh, stratified smooth variety with tangential morphism, that's a functor. And I also give myself a uh, a complex, uh, or sorry, an algebra, maybe. commutative algebra in complexes. of pre-sheaves with values in uh, variation of mixed or structure uh, composed with n. Okay, so remember we have a functor vh vmh0 that goes from here to categories. I compose this functor with m, I get funct a two functor from c uh, to categories, and I want A to be uh, an algebra in complexes of pre sheaves with values in these two functors. Okay, so this is, this, is, this is the setting. So, of course, I have in mind uh, uh, C is uh, probably uh, the category of the, so, so the, 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 the Grothendieck construction on the functor uh, flags from. Uh, from stratified uh, schemes over over e bar r plus m, um, and I, I, so for a, I have in mind this guy here. So this is this is my my a. So I would like to apply uh, the theorem to to this a. So of course I didn't tell you what the theorem is about. So this is just the beginning. So we, we will assume two conditions, and then there will be a conclusion. So let me tell you what are the assumptions. Okay, so um, we assume, so this is a continuation of the theorem. Assume that, so first, I would like that, uh, so the GRU for the weight filtration on A uh, maybe evaluated at, at an object x. Uh, this is uh, this should be um, zero for i negative, and it should be so. This is quasi isomorphic and quasi isomorphic to uh, to the unit object for i equals zero. So maybe okay, so the unit variation of Hodge structure. And uh, second. I want that there exists an integer uh, such that uh, the dimension of, uh, of m of x is smaller than, than n for all x in C. And so these are the two conditions. And then I can say what is the conclusion. Okay, so then the, 
the fetch complex fetch object uh, on A is strongly is uh, strongly contractible. In the following sense, uh, for all uh, for all d larger than n n plus one, for all n, um, the following map so catch less than uh, n plus d. is zero in, in the derived category of pre-sheaves values in this VHM composed with zero. Okay, so in the derived category of, su of such object, this map is zero. Okay, so this is the statement of the theorem that I would like to, uh, to use uh, in, in this uh, situation. Okay, so maybe just uh, a comment. So, uh, so such a strong uh, contractibility uh, uh, somehow will be sufficient. So, if if I could show that this that this object here, this church complex, is strongly contractible, uh, then this will be uh, enough to compute the homotopy limit of this cosine special gadget, uh, in the sense that I, I could then just replace this guy by one. This would be the answer of the homotopy limit, and this is uh, quite simple because. Uh, you see, I mean, I, I told you that it's it's hard to commute um, homotopy limit with other functors. I mean, namely, for example, with homotopy co-limits and so on. Uh, but there is a good situation where this, when when this is possible is exactly a situation li li like this, like wh 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 where we have strong con contractibility. The complex here is uh, homological or cohomological? It's cohomological. Homological, and so when you write less than or equal to m, it's homological. Degree. Yes, yes, yes. It's the cosine special degree. Yes. So maybe I should say what what is so. So c less than two. What is this of a? This is just this complex, a. A tensor a. Uh, maybe a tensor uh, to the three. Okay. So and then 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 you put zero. So this, this is a stupid truncation. Exactly. So it's, a, it's a quotient of the. It's a quotient. The quotient exactly. Yes, exactly. It's a quotient, yeah. And uh, somehow the total thing is, is kind of a homotopy limit of these truncations. Okay. So it's like a tower of. Uh, okay. Right? So uh, as, as a pro object, uh, this is exactly given by, by this tower. And I'm saying that, that, that the, the pro or the tower of object, if you want, is, uh, is isomorphic to the unit tower. This is what, what is this the strong quotient. in the pro sense, yeah. This is what 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 is this, what this strong uh, contractibility is about, and so if you have this in this process, then then you can somehow uh, use this to compute effectively this 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 thing here. Okay, so somehow this is a uh, somehow the, this is uh, in some sense the only tool I I know about which would you know enables one to compute such such uh, monster here. Um, but unfortunately, it, does, it, it will not apply to our situation, and I, so uh, for obvious reason. But uh, I, le let me somehow spell this out. Uh, okay. So I, so I told you that I, uh, so how I, I would like to apply this. 
to black to apply. The theorem, uh, in the case where I take my A to be this R P lower star of one, one Hodge course. Okay, so uh, again, so I, I said also yes uh, last time that uh, somehow th th these things do not have a compatible Hodge structure, but but this guy of course has such a thing because it's, it's just given by uh, push forward of a, a, a longer um, morphism of varieties. So we, we do know that, th that this guy has a Hodge structure. And in fact, it's essentially given by, uh, uh, by, by this, so the RP lower star of one Hodge. And yeah, so I would like to apply the theorem to this A. Now let, let, let's see what, where this A somehow lives. Uh, so, you see, so A, so if I fix, if I fix, uh, this, uh, this pair Rm, um, then uh, if you remember this Rp lower star uh, Hodge lives uh, in, uh, in Vhm composed with, oh sorry, Mixed Hodge structure. Okay, so it, it lives in, 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 in one, one of these guys. Uh, okay, for for some flag, but you see the, the, the dimension. I mean, this is just again uh, GM to some power, and and this power is bounded by R plus M. Right? So in particular, this. This, this, the dimension here is less than r plus n. Okay, so f for for a fixed indices like this, uh, the, the theorem applies. Okay, so for, for a fixed pair the theorem applies uh, and, and give us that the, the, the homotopy limit. Of uh, pi r m lower star, etc. Uh, I put uh, ch r p lower star of one h uh, vibrant. This can be computed. This is just the same thing, except that you don't have any more. One, you just have, maybe I put here uh, N R M cancelled. So you replace this just by N R M. And, right. um, and of course, you, 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 have, you have guessed. So the, the problems appear when you, when you want to do this independently of the, of, of the choice of R M. Uh, um, this will not work anymore. So, but but uh, for but uh, but you can but one one cannot make this one cannot make this argument. For all R n independently. I mean, um, okay. And, and this is of course it's, it's essentially the same same problem. All right, so let me know. Okay, so somehow the, the this somehow maybe uh, it's a good place to uh, to tell you what, to, what I'm trying to do now. So the the next thing would, would so I, I will introduce uh, a third model, um, which somehow is uh, um, um, on, on which I can apply somehow this theorem in a, in a more efficient way. So it it will not. Uh, as I've explained, so the, 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 there is a gap, and it, it, it will not uh, enables me to somehow to to finish the proof. Uh, but somehow, it at least uh, uh, um, it, it somehow brings us maybe somehow a bit closer to to 
to, to, to do such th this computation. Okay, so, so the, the third model is uh, somehow designed in a way which, uh, uh, way so that it, one can apply the theorem in a more efficient ma manner. And the last sentence that you wrote, was it one can or one cannot make this algorithm? One cannot. Ah, one cannot. <laughs> Sorry. What did it mean? I'm a bit lost of the. You said for a fixed R, for a fixed Rm. Yeah. So if you fix Rm, you can compute the homotopy limit. Yes. Uh, but this will not be enough because you see, so you can compute you can compute this if you want. So this can be computed. Yes. But what what we really want is computing the homotopy limit of the colimit. Right. So what what we really want is to compute this this is what this is what you want but this argument can does not apply here because then the rm is uh, arbitrarily large ah so you have to do, do first volume and then no column yes you have to do whole m and then whole column ah, this, is the uh, this is what this is what you want to to do but but if you but this theorem does does not help you to do this it helps you to do something different which is which is this, and this is not enough. I mean, this is. You need to kind of a junction between each whole limit and each. You need you need to yeah. If you if you can commute homotopy limit and whole limit, you will be done. But uh, in general, it's not something that you are, you, you know how to do. I mean, this is uh, of course. I mean, uh, there are many examples of uh, where, where 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 the homotopy limit does not commute with the homotopy limit. So here you are not sure if it commutes. This is the point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm not even trying to 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 prove this. It's I'm not try, trying to commute the homotopy limit with the whole, with the, with, the, with the. Ah, what the, you are. Ah. Uh, I mean, I, I I will abandon this model. It will not. I mean, this is not. Um, I I I'm not. I will not try to to make this argument work. I will I will uh, introduce a, a third model. On which, uh, uh, in fact, th this, homo this, this particular homotopy limit and this homotopy limit will not be a problem to commute, uh, but there will be another problem that I will explain in a moment. Okay, so. So your goal is to get a, a non-trivial map to exactly to some to what to. I want to to do this. I want to go from here to here. From the homotopy limit yes. of that, and you can do it if you can exchange the whole limit and the whole. Yes. All right. So I have a map. If you want, from the homotopy limit of the homotopy limit, you mean? You need to do homotopy limit also. Yes. So one can go from the homotopy limit of the whole limit to that thing, but. Uh, but somehow the, the, the natural map is in, in this direction. Whole in, whole colon. So if you have a map like this, you don't a priori deduce the map from here. Okay, so should I should I erase this and, and make it? I, do you have any map comparing whole limit or colon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can go from the whole colimit of the whole limit to the whole limit of the whole colimit. But this is not not going to help you. Ah, oh, because you don't know the map will extend. Yeah. Something like this. Yes, yes. So it doesn't go in the direction that okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is uh, again. Let, let me say it again. So the what what we will try to do is we try to. To introduce some more uh, complication in, in in the models that I'm working with, so this will lead us to the third model, and in the, in the third model we will have uh, somehow more. Uh, so we will have a larger uh, sub diagram on which I can apply this. Right? So it, so so I, I have this this I have a large diagram of of varieties, um, um, and so I told you that if if I if I look at a sub diagram, the, the one that corresponds to R n fixed, uh, this theorem apply. 
but this is too small in some sense. Uh, if, I f if I bound Rm, I, I only get a very small part of this uh, huge diagram. And so the, the in, in, the th in the third model, I will have, uh, again, a huge diagram, but somehow the part on which I can apply this theorem is, is significantly larger than, 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 than what I have here. So this, somehow this is the idea uh, of this, uh, somehow behind introducing this third model. And so, um, yeah, I will now start doing this. So I start uh, introducing some notation to, to describe this third model and try to give you an idea uh, or at least a sense why one can somehow go a bit further using this theorem and the third model. So, yes. Okay, so uh, the, the third model will, will be denoted by P3. Uh, and again, it will be also a homotopy collimate over the same, in fact, same diagram of Rm. So, uh, but, but this will be, of course, different. Um, and so I, I will, I only describe, I will only describe these, uh, these T spectra. Okay, so, right, so these are T spectra or on smooth varieties. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I will start with some, uh, Preliminaries that might look a bit weird, uh, but then I, I try to, yeah, maybe late, la uh, later I try to somehow uh, maybe motivate uh, or at least uh, explain wh wh where these are coming from. Okay, so I, I start with a uh, with a simple uh, definition. So, so let let C be a category. So I call a wedge object in C uh, is, is simply a diagram of the following shape. So it's uh, called it X. Uh, it's a diagram which has uh, just uh, three object uh, that are denoted like this, x11, x01, and x10, with just maps like this. So it's some kind of a wedge uh, diagram. And morphism of, of wedge object is just more commutative diagram, as you imagine. Nothing weird. Um, so the, the category of wedge objects in C is denoted by C with a wedge like this. And are you interested in the polymeter of such a diagram? No, 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 not necessarily. Maybe in some sense, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I will never really take a collimate of this diagram, but yeah. All right, so the, the, the wedge object, they form a category, yes, yeah. and, and so ex example that we are, of things that we will be considering are like <coughs> wedge, wedge schemes or uh, stratified, stratified wedge schemes, mm, possibly regularly stratified. 
So, the, so these are the, uh, the example of objects that will be considered. When you have schemes, it's so, when you have such a wet diagram in scheme, it's often convenient to consider the polymer. Yeah, but it, does, it will not exist a priori, yeah? To scheme over a common part. But somehow, yeah, for example, in schemes, this, there's no co-limit in general. You don't have a co-limit. Yeah? But somehow, yeah, we, I, I will be somehow kind of a, approximating the co-limit, and, and yeah, you will see it's, no. it's maybe a good... It is maybe by general nonsense, there must be a co-limit. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe there is a co-limit. Well, you don't include finite type, I think you could probably show. Oh yeah, you can take take the the limit of all the but it's yeah. No, maybe if it's if it's affine, huh? Yeah, okay, this is the reason for yeah. But I, I okay. <laughs> yeah. It Sometimes it can exist, yeah of course. Not not always, but <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so it has a diagram of morphism of strative okay, so the main point is that Morphism of regular is stratified like what you said. Yes. Like what you explained before. Okay. Yes. What you saw in particular of finite type of. Uh, yes, finite type of over a field. Yeah. So it, everything will be a finite type over a field, uh, smooth and regularly stratified. In fact, this is uh, the, o the main case of. Um, I'm, I'm interested in. Okay. So. So I want also to define an, an H topology in this, in this setting. So, okay, so we define H wedge topology on schemes uh, wedge of K. Uh, by um, as the one generated by families families of morphism of which schemes uh, of the following of the following type. So that the, there will be. Uh, three uh, type of generators so uh, yeah the first one is and the category is a category of the of wedge over over the schemes yes so just schemes so the first one uh, you you ask that uh, the family f11 i okay so the one on the top uh, is an h cover And you ask that the other morphism, so the F10i and F01i, are uh, quasi finite. This is the first type of covers. And the second one is uh, you ask that F10i. It's an H cover. And you ask that, um, th sorry? What's this topology? Sorry? That H, I wonder which, which is the topology based on what, what, what is the H topology? Yeah, so this is a topology generated by a subjective proper morphism and uh, etal morphism, etal covers. Or the risky covers. Okay, so this is an A. Okay, wants this to be an H cover, and I want the uh, this square to be Cartesian. Okay, so we start. So we start with an H cover of uh, of x one zero, and we we just take the. Cartesian, uh, the pullback of it to get the cover of x11. One one. Uh, and I want the, the, uh, the fi01 uh, to be, uh, qu again, quasi finite. And uh, third is uh, just as in two, but you, in, you exchange 0 and 1. Okay. Okay, so maybe remark. 
So this is uh, the, 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 topolo so this is the topology for which the points are, the, are as follows. So the, the points are given by uh, diagrams of uh, spectra of valuation Spec of valuation, yeah. So if you want, I can maybe write like this. So valuation, huh? Okay, that's it. Tack. Uh, which are where this is dominant and local. This map, and, and I want, uh, and, and, and the three of, of our algebra are absolutely integrally closed, all of them. Yeah, it's more in particular it's Sicilian, yeah. Okay, and the uh, other thing over the base field, you mean? Yeah, 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 over the base field. And you can take them to be of uh, finite height. But then it will not be all points. No, okay, uh, enough points are given. Like enough that. points are given by such things, yeah. and you can assume that the transcendence degrees are finite. Yes. Yes. And therefore, you have finite. Finitely many. Uh, Spectra are finite. Yes, yeah. and the ranks are finite. Well, yes. The rational rank of the Exactly, yes. Okay, so this is uh, the wedge H topology. Uh, maybe. Another uh, thing that you can do in this setting is the following. So if you have x uh, regularly <laughs> stratified which scheme, uh, so I, I define uh, the, the category of flags. By definition, this is flag of x11. Okay, so a flag in, in a wedge scheme is just a flag in the top scheme. Of course, uh, once you have a flag in x11, you get a flag also in the two other by uh, push forward. Uh, and so if I have a flag in, in here, uh, I can define a new uh, stratified a new regularly stratified wedge scheme uh, like this. So m plus, uh, sorry, m plus x11 of the flag, and then m plus x10 Okay, so th these, of course, are the projection of D uh, in x10 and so on. And in fact, I will usually, just for simplicity, just write it like this. Okay, so this is the wedge object m plus xt. And yeah, in fact, so we would like to take the push forward of such a thing. And And so this is why we introduced the following uh, category. So we set um, so this is uh, in latex it's uh, Aleph not of X no not Aleph. What is this? Aleph is like this. <laughs> it's like the cardinal Aleph. Yeah, I want to I want to do this. So how how do I write? I don't know. Okay, like this. 
I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let, let me just, is it okay to write it like this? Yeah, this is more like a Russian letter. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to write Aleph in, on the blackboard. But you don't know how to write Aleph zero. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. So. Let, let, let me write like this, Aleph. Okay, Aleph of uh, XD. Uh, so this is uh, the category of of commutative squares. So commutative squares uh, in uh, the category so and smooth uh, stratified morphism, but with tangential maps. I want. So u is is so this is so you you you, you complete the, the square. So uh, so uh, so so uh, so in in this diagram, uh, this these are fixed. This is what, what what is varying. So when you vary this, you get a category. Okay, so o all such thing. Uh, that they form a category which I call LF of XD. Um, yes, so X and D is fixed. This determines these three uh, objects, and then U, U, U is varying. Of course, if there, if there is a, a co limit, then there, there will be, uh, sorry, if there is a push forward, this, there will be an initial object, and this category will have a new. Huh? Exactly. So I, yeah, I, I will not. I mean, I, will, I don't know. In general, that there will be no good, no, no good colimits. So I take, I take all these guys. Of course, there is a final object because it's just the coil. The initial. Did I say final? No, initial. Initial is not. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Final okay. Final. There, there's always a final object. Yes. Yeah. So the reason I I, I, I take squares uh, uh, in the category of tangential map uh, is, is in order to have the following uh, fact. So uh, so this LF uh, becomes a, a, a contravariant functor from the Grothendieck construction on flags. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, Grothendieck construction. Uh, of uh, wedge uh, stratified schemes, flags. Associating the category to the two vector. Yeah, so a two functor give you a two functor. So, so yeah. Of the co contravariant. This is a fiber category. It's a con it's contravariant. Uh, so, so no fl flags is covariant, but but the functor is contravariant. The functor. The fun so what I what I what I'm. Uh, what I'm trying to write here, so sending uh, x to. So this is a contravariant functor. Okay. So what what you do you you have uh, if you have a morphism uh, from x prime d prime to x d you just somehow change this three thing and you keep the u, and this gives you a, a new uh, square. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a two functor. Um, and so therefore I can again again uh, apply Anyway, so the yes, so the colony construction here is just the <coughs> the category of a stratified scheme and the flag of exactly. the type you consider. Yeah. And the morphisms are morphisms of scheme in the usual direction and and then the push forward of the flag goes to the, to the flag. Uh, the push forward of the flag goes in the sense of yeah. and going to the flag means that the, the target flag is is uh, is is more guys. Or exactly. Yes. 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 So this is that, and then f our star of. So th th this dominates this. Ah, the D is less, less. Yeah, this has less than, than this, yeah. All right, so, yeah, so, so because I have this functor, that then I can uh, do a double integral. And so th this category, I will just write it as OK, so the objects here are uh, clear. So an object in this category is it's a triple x, d, and d. Okay, so where x is this uh, regularly stratified wedge scheme, this is a flag in the top scheme, x11. This is a completion of the square like, like that. All right, so uh, we also, so, uh, yeah. so applying make regular singular to, uh, to the square. So square here, so. Star. Yeah. Sorry. To the square. Uh, we get a square of two functors on uh, on this inter double integral, and uh, the, that I denote by make one one. Zero, make zero one. Okay, and that there are uh, natural transformation between them, which are just pullback functor. Okay, and so I, I need to give name to this and this. So this, this is I call uh, u upper star. This is s upper star. Okay, so uh, for example. What is make regular singular 0, 0 on x du? This is simply make regular singular on the open part of u. OK, so this is. With this, I can now st uh, start uh, d describing the sec this third spectrum, the third key spectrum. U is uh, that thing here.
right, so uh, the third you want. Okay, so um, give some notation before. So uh, I fix, as usual, these two uh, indices, R and M. Um, as usual, R is just the this, this sum of ent entries in R, or underline. Uh, so I, I'll denote by, so I, I told you what was R plus M. Right, this is just a, a, prop, a, a Cartesian product of P1s. But from now, I mean, now I will give it slightly different meaning. So this will be the wedge scheme, which has the following shape. So uh, ER plus M as before, equality respect K. This, is, this choice might seem arbitrary, but this is what, what I need. Okay, so this is this will be now my my, my basis, um, mm, and I, I also consider the category of regularly stratified scheme, wedge scheme, and over this guy. Okay, so it's uh, it's a diagram of this shape and and maps like this, and uh, res respecting the certification, and this will this will be endowed with. Is the H wedge topology. So we have a morphism of sites. That will denote by pi Rm. Which is again, as, as before, it's essentially the projection of this to the point, but one has to uh, to make some choice here. So I'll tell you what choice I, I have to make. So it's, it goes from a stratified with this topology to smooth stratified wedge. Uh, no, I don't want to. So here, here there's no edge. Hmm? It's just the usual, usual thing. And so the, it's given on uh, on object by sending a stratified scheme to uh, what I call E bar R plus M X, but which is really the following diagram. So just the, uh, er plus m times x and projecting, projecting in um, on both factors. So e e one bar. This is p one. Okay, I just introduced this because I don't want to write p one parentheses some power. All right, so yeah, this is set up. So um, now let's remark the following. So, so first observation is that this uh, flaggy pre-sheaf I introduced uh, before, this logarithmic uh, type uh, model with a temporary connection, this is naturally Uh, a pre sheaf on this uh, double integral with values, uh, sorry, what did I do here? Uh, yeah, that's uh, okay, so it's not. So let's see. It's uh, maybe I, I do it like this. Okay, I think I have to write it. Uh, 
So it's slightly different than, than, than the thing before, but okay. So uh, the same thing as before, ex except that I have to work over e, e bar r plus n. Okay, so it's it's a pre-sheaf with values in make regular singular one thing. So what I'm saying here is simply that. Uh, so what, what what you do you you ha you your your n is defined somehow on on this factor here so you think about it as defined here and whenever whenever you have something over over it uh, like uh, uh, x d um, you can somehow pull back your n to get something over that thing I, I hope this is clear if you, if not I can say more about this okay. Is this is this fine? Okay, so what 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 is this thing? So maybe I, I tell you what is n r. Okay, so I have to tell you what is this uh, what is this module? Uh, so the thing is that you what you do you look at uh, x one zero. Okay, so you you, you let, let, let let's c be the image. Of d in e bar r plus m, so then you have this uh, thing here m m plus x one one d m plus x one zero d. And over it you have uh, the same thing. Okay, just a moment. I, I say it in a moment. So the n was was living here. So this this, this makes sense. I I know what is n R M over C. Yeah, this is just this is essentially a, a product of G M's, and this is essentially the logarithmic sheaf on G M's. I put it back via this map here, and I get something that lives here. And this is my uh, this is my my guy. This is n. No, so of course, it, it does not depend uh, on you, but I, I, I want to, to do it like I want to take you into account. Okay, so this is what is. Um, Did you define already NRM? Yeah, this was defined last. Uh, this was defined last time, but we really don't need anything. We don't need to know what it is. It's just something, which. It's just a log logarithmic sheaf which uh, we need to keep track of, and the only thing which, which that matters is that it does not have a Hodge structure. Just some random guy. All right, so we take this guy, we put it back, we get here, and and we now we think about this as uh, as as a pre-sheaf with values in in this guy. This is one thing. So, on the other hand, we have something very simple. We have the unit object uh, considered as a pre sheaf with values in make uh, zero one. Okay, so I have one which is in. Uh, okay, I have, I have uh, n which lives here, and I have one which lives here. And so that the, so the. So the constant p sheaf is. Yes, just the unit object. So the idea is somehow to mix these two, 
two things together in in here. So yeah, so we we mix n and one, so n R N and one in make zero zero. Simply by, by taking push forward and uh, tensor product. So we get so we look at the lower star, so derived the lower star tensor with derived S lower star. And uh, also let, let me say it now, uh, this guy somehow has, by the construction, a Hodge structure. So we will be trying to apply uh, the Hodge theoretic argument on this object. Okay, so now to, uh, to tell you what is, um, so to, to say what is, uh, what is P, P3, I do the following. So, uh, so we consider now we, we define. We first define a complex of pluggy pre sheaves on reg. by setting the following. So, uh, so I, I denote this by Q, I take Q3, and uh, indices are M. Okay, so this is a flaggy pre -shift. So me, I, I have to evaluate this on an object, so a wedge uh, object here, X, and then a, a choice of a flag in D. So if I fix X and D, then you see I still have u which is varying. So what I do, I just take a, a colimit, a homotopy colimit of u in Aleph xd of uh, this guy, or global section of this guy. So gamma delta. So this is global section at u0 of this, this object. And so once once you have uh, a flaggy pre shift, we know how to get uh, uh, a spectrum. So I maybe say it quickly. Um, can I can I use this? Okay, so finally I put this by definition this is uh, the, uh, the push forward along this morphism of sight I just introduced before of the Godmar resolution. Again, there is this uh, sigma tilde infinity and then this, this guy. And this has to be made vibrant. Okay, so this this is uh, this guy. Okay. So mm, it's maybe a good uh, a good time to take a break. Uh, it's tea time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can take five minutes break and then I continue. All right, so I, I want to maybe ju just say a few words about the following uh, theorem. So uh, saying that, that P3, as defined, is stably A1 et al. locally equivalent to omega. So it, 
I will not really prove this. I'll just uh, maybe uh, tell you uh, somehow what's, what's behind this. Uh, so maybe try to make this construction less, um, uh, to say, l l less arbitrary somehow. I'll tell you how, how, how one comes to this, to this model. So uh, let, let me recall that uh, I, I explained to you that, that this T spectrum is equivalent to uh, localization, the P1 delta localization of its uh, of the infinite suspension spectrum on, on the Durham complex. Uh, th this is an isomorphism which is in uh, over smooth foliation. Okay, and um, in fact, this uh, this is this localization is really computed using uh, the et al topology on smooth foliation. Now, on, on smooth foliation, we have other topologies. Um, and I, I will need to introduce two of them. So, so we have two more. We have two more topologies. We have plenty of more topology, but we have two more topologies that I want to consider. So, the first one is uh, the so-called uh, C topology. And so, I tell you. Uh, uh, how, how it is generated. So, uh, so, the, the, so the, there will be three type of covers. So there will be the etal cover covers. There will be uh, so-called uh, maybe formal um, um, formal ex ex excision. Formal excision. Covers. So these are the following. So you start with uh, the foliation, which is uh, smooth, diff smooth, and, and affine. Uh, you choose uh, a, a closed subscheme uh, in, in X, so um, um, it may be constructible, constructible subscheme, closed with, without any. any Scheme structure, and then you you th there is a notion of uh, completion along Z, uh, which is mm. so here the foliation of the schemes of finite type on smooth schemes of finite type. No, no, no. So uh, any 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 K scheme X, not, not necessarily of finite type. What is the smooth foliation? Ah, smooth. Smooth is just the omega f, which is so it's diff smooth. Exactly. Yeah. And but you need schemes which are large. Yeah, schemes are can, can be arbitrary large. Okay. Okay. So uh, you take closed construct subset. There is a, a notion of completion, and uh, you add. So you, you look also at the complement. Okay, so, so you, you have these two maps, and you declare that this, that this is a cover. So one should think about this as some kind of a, of a Hanselization of x along z, but uh, in somehow in the uh, in this in this world of foliation. So it's it's rather, rather somehow uh, like for formal completion, and then and then this is uh, yeah this is somehow natural cover to consider, and then there are uh, somehow uh, Mm, bit weird covers which are uh, like this. So you, you start again with the f with the foliation, and then you you can lo look at the reduced uh, closed subscheme on F, and this is uh, you declare that this is a cover. Is X red mode X still a foliation? Yes. foliation? Yes. Yes. In fact, it's yeah, uh, and and this is actually diff et al. And some and same for this actually, diff et al. So you assume only that you have a Gaussian bundle of the omega one. Yes. Which is locally free. Which is locally free and uh, integral and with the integrability yes. condition. Yeah, yeah. So you have a kind of the RAM complex, and mm -hmm. then you claim 
is when you tensor it with X red, you get again a Ram complex. Yes. So, so in fact, the, the omega of this is just the pullback. The omega of X red F is just the pullback of, uh, it's just a restriction to the, to the. Ah, okay, so these are sort of observations, the derivations. In yeah, 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 zero exactly. Exactly, yes. exactly. It's, that, it's, it's just that. So this is this is the PCA tile topology. So the the, mo the more interest, the more interesting covers are really that those ones somehow which aren't kind of new. Um, and then th there is uh, the PC foliated topology, which is uh, generated by the PCA tile and uh, an extra uh, so PCA tile covers and. Uh, covers of, of the following form. Uh, so maybe we should not go into the details. So let's say nice surjective families of d fatal numbers. It, 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 it won't really matter for what, what will follow, what, what are these uh, nice ones. Okay, so the the point of this is that um, um, so locally. What is diff at the ah? ah diff at is defined. Okay, but then you still uh, you you don't, you want to have a tile say which are not a finite type in this. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So so this is the difference between a tile cover and diff a tile is, is really very very big. So a tile covers are uh, just, I mean, on, on, on the level of, of the underlying scheme, it's just an etile morphism, but here that you, can, you could have um, arbitrarily large uh, uh, fibers in no, that, that, that dimension wise. Okay, okay so, so say what are the nice, uh, Yeah, I, I could say it, but it will really not help us uh, to, to understand more. So, yeah, so in, uh, uh, locally for this, for the C foliated topology, so, so I, I, I denote this by a PCFT, so this is the ab abbreviation for this is PCFT. Um, so the, the RAM complex is uh, acyclic except on in degree zero. So this is a Poincaré lemma. And uh, so it's natural to, to denote by O delta the H0 of this Durham complex. And so these are the, this is the kernel of the first, the first um, diff derivation in the Durham complex. Um, right, so, so this means that, that this, this map the inclusion is a quasi-isomorphism, is a local quasi-isomorphism. Right. So now let, let's let's go back to, to this formula. So, um, so then I can I can write this formula slightly differently by saying that this is localization p1 localization delta uh, of uh, sigma infinity t. O delta, and then uh, then make make this uh, CFT log, CFT fiber. Okay, so um, up up to small things maybe. So, it's, uh, one, one can show in fact that omega is like um, uh, omega has has uh, descent for this topology. Up to small things maybe, but uh, and therefore the the, fi the CFT fiber model of o, o delta is just given by by omega. So this, so this is somehow just a direct consequence of the previous formula. Um, now, yeah, now it comes something which is not uh, completely obvious, is that you can in fact uh, put this vibrant replacement uh, um, after localization. So in fact, you can localize. So you can do a p1 delta localization of sigma t infinity or delta and, uh, and then afterwards apply CFT fibrant, take a fibrant model. The, the price to pay here is that you need to 
uh, to work with the psi etal topology instead of the etal topology. Um, right, so there is a map like this, and this map turns out to be um, a stable A1 etal, or maybe a psi etal, A1 psi etal local. And somehow, the, the, yeah, it's very important to uh, the stable here. It's not a level wise, a, a priori, it's not a level wise one. It's only uh, at the stable level. Okay, so once I, I said this, I can now uh, somehow tell you what is the origin of this uh, model. So, uh, so uh, P3. Is so the result of computing or the outcome of computing uh, the restriction of uh, this guy here of. Uh, Look, P1 delta oh. so the restriction of this to smooth varieties. Okay, so uh, th this mis this mysterious or uh, un unmotivated object is just really the you start from here, you you compute. And you end up with it. So uh, this is how, how one comes naturally to, to this object. Okay, so this is, and and so uh, as a consequence of this isomorphism, there you get that you get this uh, property. And again, I should stress that it is stably uh, equivalent, and it's re this is really um, mm, so. If you remember, uh, uh, for for the for the model P two, I actually I had. Here's something much stronger. I had that this, this was uh, uh, level-wise quasi-isomorphic to that. Here, uh, here we have something much weaker. We have uh, stably equivalence. Okay. Yeah, it's not not so easy, no. It's, uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, you see, the, the the result is not easy, so the, <laughs> the computation should be as I mean, to, to write down this complex, it, it took me some time, um, and uh, yeah, so to arrive to such to, 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 to such a complicated thing, you have to compute uh, a lot. So it's yeah, it's it's long, it's long, and yeah. Okay, so. All right, so in the remaining of my time, I want to explain now what happens if I try to uh, to use this third model um, and try, try to apply to it this uh, the Hodge th theoretic argument and see up to where I want, one can get one can get with this and uh, so tell you uh, more precisely uh, at, at what at, so wh wh where this gap in the proof uh, somehow um, lies. Maybe even uh, state a conjecture, or, or at least uh, a hope, which somehow uh, removes this, this gap. Okay, so okay, so the, the homotopy limit using the third model. Okay, so let, let me introduce some notation. So I, 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 I introduced this uh, flaggy pre-sheaf before, uh, QRM th three. Uh, let me remind you what was this. So it, it's, it takes uh, X and the flag, and it takes and it, it gets it gives you uh, the whole the whole limit 
over all possible completion of this of this diagram and that one one deduced from x and g and then there was this uh, r gamma delta over u circ um, yeah of continue here so of r u lower star some simple module of logarithmic type then tensor with r s lower star of one and on this guy i do have uh, a hot structure and so what i will do i will as, as i did in the second uh, model i will introduce the, the church const construction exactly at this object so i put here a church construction put an index n and do it like this okay so this is uh, a flaggy pre sheaf and uh, so maybe I try to keep this in, in the blackboard so maybe erase this one here So an n, r, n. So this is now uh, a T spectrum, and it is uh, p, uh, r, n, lower star of Godman complex on sigma T infinity tilde of q, q triple n r s. And this is vibrant. H vibrant. So this is I'm just uh, so when, when n is equal to zero, this is just the model for omega p three. And uh, sorry, so p p p three and n. This is the whole co limit. So if I if I vary n, I, I do get a cosimplicial shell spectrum. So varying n, I get so dot. Right, so um, as, as before, as in the second model, as, as before, one has morphism of cosimplicial spectra. And again, this is uh, really up to Stable A one tau block equivalence, which goes from this uh, church complex on omega to this um, yeah p p three dot. 
uh, one important difference that will come up, come up today with uh, the previous setting is that uh, we do not know not know that um, that the p d three n are uh, a one et al or or, or stably and so therefore we need to stabilize before computing a motor element on the right hand side okay so but, but for the moment let, let, let us forget about this problem and and somehow uh, try to see what 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 do we have here um, so we so yeah we we would like to apply so the Hodge theoretic argument or ingredient about two to the following situation um, yeah, essentially I think C uh, is this a triple integral uh, sorry double integral uh, this is my my C um, and my A this is R S lower star of one Hodge maybe and uh, what is my M? My M is, is a functor. So this is my M, uh, which, which takes simply x d u to u. Okay, so this is, um, goes to a uh, smooth. Okay, so this is my M. Right, and so of course, if we look at this, we see that there is no no way to, to apply this theorem because uh, I have no control on my, my u. So u, u could be um, absolutely uh, of arbitrary dimension. Um, but let, let's let's remember again what what was u? What u was was this completion? So I have I had a diagram. So u was such a thing, and in fact, of course, I can always uh, replace u by something which is which is finer because I'm taking a homotopy limit, right? So it's uh, if I have uh, so it, it, u could be very large, but then m I, I might find something here which has smaller dimension, which factor. So, I, so what, what really matters is somehow the the dimension in the co-limit. Uh, but also, I could somehow refine d and and x and and so on because I'm, I'm working for the for some topology and so on. And so the idea is to try to to use the these somehow to uh, to control as, as as much as we can the dimension of of u. And so there is a principle which I which I use for this, which is the following. So, right, so we need to control the dimensions of u. And let me again say so by control, I mean, I mean th there will be no, no way really to, to get um, 
to prove that the, the dimension of u is, is bounded. But so what, what we could hope is we could we could try to hope for to, to, to we could try to look for for a large sub diagram, so large subcategory here. Uh, that such as when, when I when I restrict n to this subcategory, I, I could show that that these u are bounded or up to refinement they, they will be they will have one, one dimension and then hope that this is large enough uh, so that it, it will give us something interesting at the end so this is somehow the, the, the idea and so I, I, I'll try to to make this a bit more precise so yeah so what, there is one useful principle and is, is the following so uh, the dimension of u is uh, controlled by, by the depths of the flag inside the wedge scheme. So I, I will not really be able to, to make this uh, statement more precise. Uh, it will take some time. I just want to uh, maybe give you one example of, of such a, uh, so the simplest example of such, uh, of where this principle somehow applies. So. Uh, For you, this is an arbitrary diagram, so you can always take you bigger by yeah, but I, as I said, so you can take you can embed you in a large affine space, yes. but then you it doesn't it doesn't really somehow make sense because you can refine it by something smaller. Yes. And so if you, if you put here a a one hundred, yes. uh, somehow in, in the co-limit this will not play any role. It's it's, it's this one which, which will so you can you can you can ref, you can replace your your category Aleph by a co-final subcategory. Without changing the and, and what matters at the end is, is what are the dimension in this co-final subcategory. Okay. Or so differently, you can always assume that these are dominant in some sense. You can. Not, not, okay. So. Yeah. You c that's. Uh, okay. I don't want to make this precise. So the idea is that you don't. You what you care about really is. Is somehow the the the, 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 the the dim inf in some sense uh, of of the of the objects which are in in this category. Okay. Dim. No, it's not. <laughs> it's li li like <coughs> dim inf. Okay, so something like this. It doesn't. Mean, I'm, I'm not trying to define anything here. So I'm ju just saying that you always can. Uh, so if you can refine something, uh, an object by something, you 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 could somehow remove it and just uh, care about the dimension of this refinement. Okay, so so he, here is this, this, uh, the, uh, this the simplest uh, example of this principle uh, is the following. So you, let's assume that x11 is x10 times x01, and that uh, the flag is a stratum. Not not uh, not a flag, but just a consisting of one stratum. Then, in this case, we really have the following: we, we have that the dimension of u is um, bounded by the co-dimension of c. Okay, so if if the c is is um, has has small co-dimension, then then this will force the u to be uh, of small dimension. Um, and this follows from the following very simple observation.
Okay, so this follows from the following uh, simple lemma: is that if you have uh, if you have a square, of a commutative square uh, of schemes, finite type over a field, uh, so commutative um, integral scheme and dominant maps. Um, then, uh, and, and let's assume that, that Z embeds in the, in the product, closed embedding maybe, uh, then indeed the dimension of U is smaller than the co-dimension of Z inside the product. And this is really very simple, it just it follows from the fact that D is inside the fiber product. Okay, so it's a count of dimension and and so, so somehow a, 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 a refined version of this principle um, applied to flags and um, um, somehow uh, is what is behind uh, this, this strategy. And um, so I, 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 tr I tried to maybe to make it a bit more precise, but um, yeah, so let, let's... Okay, so uh, l l let me fix an integer in N. So I claim that th there is a geometric way uh, somehow to get rid of flags of, um, of depths. So I did not define depths, but let's say depths bigger than p plus one. So I, I tell you what is this geometric way, and somehow we, we use this geometric way somehow to to cut up to cut uh, a subcategory of this large one here, where we are sure that the u that appears are uh, they have small dimension, and this this depends on on a fixed integer p. So the the way we the way we 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 we, we cut this subcategory. Uh, is as follow. So uh, let's so so let let x be um, regularly stratified uh, wedge scheme, and let's assume that that the projection to the first uh, to, to projection from x one one to x uh, zero one is nice. And I, I will not say what is nice, but in particular, is um, is flat on strata. Okay, so every strata here goes uh, by a flat morphism to a stratum downstairs. Um, so this condition allows us to to define. So we de we denote by u u p x. This is the pro pro open object. Obtained by removing closed subschemes in X one one, X zero one, uh, meeting uh, strata in codimension larger than P plus one. Okay, so we look at subschemes which meet strata in codimension larger than this number, and we remove them. This, this gives us a pro-open subset of, uh, of x. Um, Meeting. Intersecting. But what do you mean uh, in codimension? Because so the, if you, you, you take a stratum. Uh, you intersect with your closed subset. If this closed subset is of a dimension bigger than p plus one in the stratum, you you remove the, in the stratum. In the stratum. Yes. And then you remove those closed or locally closed. Ah, closed. Yeah. Closed. Everywhere closed. Yeah. Like this for every strata. Yeah. And then you take the union. Of, I mean the intersection. Intersection of, of the complements of those. Yeah.
And then you do something uh, slightly uh, more. So you, to your x, what you do, th then you consider uh, b of x. This is the pro object of uh, obtained by blowing up faces. So this is uh, in the sense of block, maybe. Okay, and then you you you, you, you compose these two these, these two construction. You look at this guy. So um, then there is this uh, fact is that so again I will not be able to make this precise. I'm sorry, but um, so locally for was the H uh, wedge topology. Mm. On this guy, so on UP B of X, all the relevant, again, I won't make this precise, relevant uh, flags have depths smaller than p. So by, by removing this uh, uh, closed subset, but, but by, by doing this in, uh, in somehow in this block tower of blowing ups, uh, one can ensure that um, some, some, and somehow, somehow to compute the cohomology of this guy, you only need to consider flags which have depths uh, small. And therefore, uh, depths you win the the number of guys, the number No, depth is, is a thing which I, which I would not define. Is So you should, should think about depth as, as something like a codimension, um, like the codimension of, of your flag in, uh, in, in X, 1, 1. But the flag consists of several, several yes, yes. things. So it's the codimension so, uh, of... In fact, the, the most important is the codimension of the smallest stratum. Yeah. Okay, so a good approximation of the of the depth of a flag is the codimension of the smallest strata, but uh, yeah, but this, but this, but it's somehow a bit, bit more complicated because we, we need we need to control. You see, we, we need to control the dimension of u, but u is also some kind of uh, normal cone, and uh, it has a basis, and the basis will be controlled by by the smallest stratum, but the other strata will also contribute uh, to to the torus over over u. Yeah. Okay, so. It's, it's a bit more complicated than this, but, but it's a good approximation to think about the depths as just the co-dimension of the smallest stratum. Uh, Sorry? Can, I, can, can you say again? What's the code relevant? Relevant flags have depths smaller than P? I, 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 will, I will not be able to, to define it. So relevant means that, that, that they contribute to the cohomology of this guy, if you want. Okay, so what I call relevant here is that they, they contribute to the, to the cohomology of this guy. And the depth is... is well, because what you, you exclude closed subscale, which a large core dimension in each stratum, so you cannot, don't, don't elimi eliminate certain... Uh, yes, exactly. Eliminate yeah, complete. so the dimension will still big. Uh, so the... the that, that there will be flags, for example, of there will be strata of arbitrary large co-dimension. Yes, but you say they don't; they are not relevant. No, they are relevant, but but they have they have good uh, <laughs> they are not they have good depths in some sense. Yeah. Okay. I I, I see what, I, what I'm saying is, is is contradictory in some sense, but so I mean the, the depth is really is also that is somehow has to do with so it's it's. Uh, it has to do with the projection. You see, we have uh, we have these guys. So, for example, if you take a stratum uh, mapping to a strata here, uh, what, what, what's really somehow yeah, maybe a, a better a better approximation of what is the depth of a stratum is the codimension, but not in x, but rather in. So you take the image here and the image here, and you take the product maybe. So the codimension of this in the product. Okay, so if you have this, if you have uh, a stratum here, you look you look at their images, and you could so a, a better maybe definition is the codimension of this 
and something like c1 times c0. Okay, so you can ha you can have a very so a strata of very high very high codimension, but but they are still of small depths. Okay. Yeah, I, I really cannot do this. My time is, is over already, so I, I cannot I cannot go more. Do you claim that roughly that all uh, the the flags that occur are sad because you can blow up somehow you get on the depths as like a P or or that you can somehow chronologically ignore those which are so. In fact, so I, uh, look the, in, in this sentence there is the H topology. So in fact, you you uh, it's not only so you you will so we, we will have to put on this guy uh, finer stratification. In fact, so it's, it's not only the or, the original stratification which so we start with something stratified, but and then we take this this tower, but on this tower we have we will put more stratification uh, because you allow H topology which could the uh, yeah. the stratification right. So in the tower we will have finer and finer stratification. Yeah. And, and then the strata will have a priori finer and uh, larger and larger codimension. Yeah. But I'm saying that this does not, does, not, does, not, does not matter in some sense, because at the end, the U that, that will appear will always have a bounded dimension in this tower. Okay, so, so somehow this, this is a geometric uh, way of, of, uh, of controlling the dimension. Uh, so I tell you what can we do with this. So, uh, mm, yeah, so, so if, if we fix the level, so if we fix the level at P, uh, what we can do, we, we can do the following. We, we, we could, we, we, we can compute uh, the A1 localization, for example, or A1, uh, yeah, A1 localization. This, this, is, this is the susting Wojewski uh, construction by replacing uh, An. So here it's really uh, a n in this in the sense. So I should maybe write it like this. So it's really okay. So this is this uh, this wedge scheme, uh, but by replacing this guy by uh, the U P B of it. Okay. So we 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 use the usual certification, for example. And, and and we apply this construction. Uh, then somehow then uh, independently of R and and uh, and M, we, we we can bound the dimension of the U's. Okay, so the, the U that, that appear in, in this computation. And therefore, we can apply the Hodge theoretic argument. The Hodge theoretic argument, and we get to an answer, and the 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 the, the outcome is computable, and it is. It is very uh, much related uh, to weight p, to weight p uh, motivic cohomology, and the reason why this why this uh, argument can work is because of the following fact from motivic cohomology. So this is purity, purity in motivic cohomology, saying that if you uh, if you take x smooth, uh, u inside x open, and x minus u of codimension bigger than t plus 1, then motivic cohomology does not see the difference between, uh, between x and, uh, and u in weight uh, 
and weight uh, q less than p. Okay, so so if you if, if you fix a p and we have, we, we do this uh, this construction of uh, removing um, closed subset of collimation p plus one, um, and then we apply this argument and uh, the Hirschfeld argument, and then we look at what we have. We have something that that is still interesting, essentially because of this lemma. And so if we, if we do this in in weight uh, bigger than p, in, in level bigger than p, we get a problem because we don't have any more this uh, equality. Uh, and in fact, we can show that the result, uh, so, so this, this outcome that I'm speaking about here will be zero. But so this is zero if uh, level higher, if level bigger than p. Okay, so at each level we have to somehow uh, uh, we have to work with larger and larger open subset, and there is no way to do this in uh, in a coherent way in all levels. But remember, uh, I told you that uh, to compute the homotopy limit, one need to stabilize because we don't know that the spectra that we are working with are omega spectra, and this is somehow um, this is some, somehow what, what is missing um, to conclude, and. Um, so I, I, I thought I had a, a way to, uh, to solve this difficulty, uh, but somehow it, it relied on some, on some fact which, is, which turned out to be wrong, or, a, or yeah. Um, um, and maybe I, I just write down what, what was this fact, I mean, very quickly. So it's, so uh, just to tell you, where is the gap? So, so the gap, The gap uh, in the proof. Uh, so it is in. Uh, so it is exactly in uh, the place where I have in the place where one, where I was trying where we we try to stabilize. So the, the, the spectra p. P3n. Um, and so I, more precisely, I, I used, I used the, fa the, 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 the wrong fact that, that um, stabilization uh, can be computed. Equally uh, for for the H uh, wedge topology or the etal wedge. I did not define the etal but you can imagine what it is. So it's, uh, okay. So th th there is there is uh, an anal analogous uh, true fact um, which say that the stabilization can be computed equally for the H topology or for the etal topology. And I, I had the impression that, that this was also true for, for the wedge version, but it turns out that the wedge version, it's, this is not true. Um, right, so, so yeah, what, what one has to remember is that, that somehow the, the, the problem is really in uh, the stabilization of these spectra. Okay, so I, I, I have been... Tr to, the, 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 to, to T, the spectrum. Yeah, and, and it's fixed. So, so e each each guy like this, it's a T spectrum, and we would like to know that it is an omega spectrum. Okay. Yeah, this is. Um, I mean, we would like to make it an omega spectrum, because there is no reason to expect this to be an omega spectrum. Okay, so let me just very quickly finish today's lecture. So, uh, uh, right. So I, I I tried for for a very long time uh, to to get around this problem, and there uh, seems to be no way to, to do this. And so uh, very recently, I started to, uh, uh, to to shift direction in some sense, and, and tried, and so I, I started to, to, to um, I started to, to think that, in fact, this guy is may maybe already an omega spectrum. So uh, this is maybe the, the conjecture, uh, maybe too optimistic. Uh, so I, I could say it like this. So a version, maybe not not not, not this guy, but something closely related, a version of 
of these guys uh, are omega spectra. So this, as I said, I, I, I uh, maybe a month ago I, I would think this would be a completely crazy thing to 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 imagine. But so yeah, somehow I, I started to think that this is maybe not so crazy. And th in the last lecture, I will in fact give you uh, uh, I will I will give you somehow a collection of of reasons uh, to believe that this is that this is true. Um, of course, we will not be really working with this model because it's uh, it's completely impossible somehow to to prove anything about this. Uh, it's, it's so complicated. So I, I will maybe rather be working with uh, in, 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 the, in the context of uh, foliation um, and and try to yeah, some give you some convincing evidence that that, um, that the thing that the, 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 the thing that I I wrote today, so this uh, this guy here, the the theta localization of of O delta made um, vibrant, maybe with with some th power tensor here, uh, is an omega spectrum. Okay, so I tried to to give you some evidence for this. So I, I think I stop here today. <laughs>